Hey, at least we're getting something. At least we're getting something of note. And if you guys have been grinding the game, at least you guys are going to get something definitely of note. Uh, if you guys are, like, people that are playing this game pretty seriously. This man right here is a beast, and so is the other Dikembe Matumbo fella. And two of those guys are genuinely good players. Before we get on to it, though, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. If we can somehow hit 27k by the end, that would be insane. And, um, yeah, it is, it is a situation where it's like... Um, all these cards other than this guy's good. Sean Livingston's good, and I cannot stress that enough. Sean Livingston's good. Garbage man, garbage man. Ugh, all right, garbage man, garbage man. Like he's all right, and if, as far as these cards go, he's a garbage man and he's a garbage man. But at least with these guys, they're really good. And I don't know. That's one thing I really find really confusing is that. Is 2K's refusal to make budget cards good, but they'll make free cards good. And free cards take a while to grind for it. Like, clutch, 50 clutch time online wins is going to take you a little bit of time. Especially in the no-quit era. Before the no-quit era, you used to just be able to blitz people in clutch time. You were able to blitz 50 wins out in a day or two. And you still probably can get 50 wins in a day or two. Um, So it's not the worst thing in the world. Whether you're going for these guys. Um... But if you've gotten Dikembe, you've got an absolute beast on your hands. So Dikembe Matumbo might be the best center in the game. And that includes 100 overalls, by the way. And that includes Wemby. That includes Wemby and Porzingis. Dikembe might be the best center in the game. Like, so if you've been doing salary cap, fair play to you guys. You've gotten some bomb Galaxy Opals, but you have potentially the best center in the game. Look at what they did to him. They gave him the pro behind the back. Uh, they also gave him the Pro 2 Leaner. And look at the release they gave him. Instead of being a default Chelsea Gray default big, they gave him Wong on very quick. They gave him Wong Gigi on very quick. Rafe LaFrance on very quick. This is an elite release. Like, it's good on normal. Like, this release on Rafe LaFrance is good on normal. And they gave him Rafe LaFrance. He's right-handed Rafe. They gave him Rafe LaFrance on very quick while making him 7-2 to 7-6 wingspan. Decent ball handle. Like, 86 ball handling, every single defensive badge on Hall of Fame. They give him gold range extender, catch claim claymore, corner specialist, green machine. No agent threes, but, like, this this guy might be better than your Wemby. Because he doesn't quite have the height of Wemby, but he's how far off is he in Wemby height-wise? Is he that far off Wemby? I don't know. I actually don't know um, if he's that far off Victor Wembanyama. Like, he's that level of player, which is really good. Which is really, really good. So if you guys are somebody that's... Again, I haven't grinded out salary cap. But, like... If you're someone that's grinded out, great. And, like, one thing I don't... I still don't understand why 2K make the cards so garbage that you have to buy. Like, we're in May. We're in May. At least give these new SIGs. Or at least just give them new dribble styles and make them very quick. It can't take that much time. It can't make that much time. And that's one of the indefensible things when it comes to, like, the My Team devs. Like, I don't think... I'll always say is, like, don't go at the My Team devs for the whole gambling situation because I don't think they're responsible for that. They're responsible for making these guys bums. They're responsible for making these guys absolute bums. Like, when was the last time we got a good pink diamond? Pokashevsky? Like, a legit good pink diamond. Like, Gladiator. Peyton Watson was fine. Like, last legit good pink diamond was in Vortex. And it was Poku. Like, we've gotten some all right ones. Theus was all right last week. Pretty good, actually. But, like, this is one of the worst sets this year. But, yeah, we get this absolute demigod here in Takembe Matumbo. And you've got Kevin McHale. Kevin McHale is, like, a much better version of Christian Leitner. I wish that he was the TT off online co-op. And I would have just grinded out co-op for him. But, like, this is another one of those guys that can play... For the rest of the year. Like, look at the Dikembe comments. If Dikembe's your center in August, you're fine. Like, is there going to be better centers than him? Of course. But if he's your center in August, you're fine. We knew he would be this good. We didn't know he'd be the second best card in the game behind Unattainable Yao, though. Exactly. Like, genuinely. Because can he play Power Forward? Yeah, he can play Power Forward. Like, he's he's better than Wemby. Because Wemby's release isn't good, in my opinion. Even Dark Matter Wemby's release isn't good. His release is so much better than Kristaps, and he got a better player build than Kristaps. Like, he's legitimately the second best player in the game, other than Yao. And then Mikhail isn't that far off. Mikhail's got Dino builds. He's got that eight foot long wingspan. So he's got the wingspan of um, of a Wemby. So he's got Dino builds. 
And if you guys know anything about Dino build, Dino just gets stupid. Every every animation is just stupid for Dino. But at the same time, he gets every single defensive badge in Hall of Fame. Limitless range, dead eye, corner specialist, claymore, catch two blinders. He's got 94 steel, 98 block, 92 speed, 90 acceleration, 86 ball handle. They gave Michael Jordan dribble style. They um well, he's a good contest tendency, but he does also have the high foul tendency. Like, does he is he like Dino Raja where he clotheslines people? I don't know. Like Dino Raja hasn't done that in a while. But they gave him the Pro 2 leaner. The base and this jump shot's not terrible. Shengu, like it's greenable. The Jared Vanderbilt upper is a Dino upper. Like they literally get they made him Dino. They made him Dino. He's just a dark matter Dino. Except this release on very quick instead of quick. He gets Jordan Dribble style, which I also think Dino has. If I'm not mistaken, does Dino have because obviously Dino gets the wingspan. The, um, yeah. The reason why Dino has a 7-11 wingspan is they literally, back in 2K20, made him Kevin McHale. They made him Kevin McHale with new player build, which is why the 7-11 Dino wingspan is a thing. Um, and obviously Dino's wingspan was actually 7 foot 3. But um, when you're looking at this card here, he's got the pro behind the back, probably Jamal. Is light enough that he can do the Jamal. He's got the curry size of the Jordan dribble style. Like this is, if you manage to get this guy for 50 wins... Like, if you are a top grinder, you're actually getting good cards. And that's one of the things I will say is that you can actually build a really competitive team grinding. The problem is, is that the player market's useless. Like, in other years, I will say, in other years, a set like this, we will be really, really hyped because, for example, 7,000 MT, 30,000 MT for Livingston, 7,000 MT for Alonzo Morning, and these three guys would have been 2,000 MT last year. So you would have been able to buy all of these guys here for about 35K last year. So people would have been excited for that. And the reason why we're really upset is because these cards suck. And I think because of how bad these cards suck and what 2K have done to the game in general, we're not going to be hyped about these. But you can have good things in a bad game. And like just for this week, if you've grinded out in the last seven days, if you've grinded out all of these guys, um, like if you've just been absolutely top grinder, and if you're even just this season... Bill Russell doesn't even start. Like, if you've gotten this team, Kevin McHale, um, off the top of my head, I actually don't know a good small forward. Um, Kenyon Martin, I guess. I don't even know who came out in the game modes. Um, but also, you've got, like, Drew. Problem is, a lot of point guards. Gilbert. So I'm just literally picking up players. And let's just say on your way to grind these, you got yourself Kyle Korver. So if you are like ultimate grinder, you can at least build some players. But you've got to grind your life away. Like you've actually got to grind your life away. And that's one of the big... For me, that's kind of one of the big problems with this is that it is just a case of like... Having to completely, completely grind your life away. And if you do grind your life away, like you're actually picking up some real good players. Like, the clutch time offline, 50 wins, I think, for Amare is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. It does take a while. But, yeah, that is... And, obviously, geez, I forgot the Terry fella. I forgot Terry Dishinger. So, let's just put in one player. I don't know. Let's just say you have enough money from all of them to buy yourself. I actually think Artis is better than Sabonis. Um, you bought yourself this team if, you, if you're top grinder. You need about 300k, which you'll get from all these game modes. Like, this is a hell of a team. It is a hell of a team. But I don't know what 2k have done by just making all of these cards garbage. But if these cards were better and cheaper, like, at this stage of the game, Pink Diamond should be should be 15 to 20k MT. These guys should be 15k MT, and these guys should be 50k MT. Because, obviously, we're only able to lock in for one of these bums. Literally, th make three of these guys, a make it 150k instead of 550k for locking in. And then it might be worth it. It might be actually worth doing. But no, they've kept these cards at the same prices as they've been in for the last five weeks. And in fact, they're no better than they were five weeks ago, which is disappointing. So yeah, anyway, I have a weird feeling the free cards are going to be pretty good on Tuesday um, for the playoffs. But it is, obviously it is kind of disappointing that cards we buy suck. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.